Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have another review for a 4-3-2-1 tactic. Uh, guys, do me a favor. We're going to be leaving a link down below in the description and the bio for the original video of the 4321. So again, be sure to show some love uh, to the people who come up with these things because sometimes these guys are absolute G's, right? So guys, listen, this 4321, it's a pro player 4321, but it's not a boring full meta defensive 4321. It is very attacking and it is a ton of fun to use. Okay, this formation and tactic is genuinely very, very good. And if you have the right players in the right positions, it will perform really well for you. Okay, so that formation and tactic 4321. Let's show you guys how we line them up in game and then we'll talk about the types of players uh, that you're obviously going to want to use. Right, so in this 4321, it's set up like this. So the pro players, they definitely like discuss amongst each other like, hey, what does like the auto offside trap? What makes my defensive AI do this? My attacking AI do this for sure? Because the small digits that you're seeing on the screen, it makes a really big difference for how the cards perform in game. Like you can tell that it's meta with the way that it performs. OK, so with this tactic, it's like this balanced 47 for width, 72 for depth, balanced for the attack direct passing 47 for width and then six for players in the box and then for me personally i put corners and free free kicks set to one because i hate conceding counter attacks right you guys know how i am i always tell you guys this in every single tactic video okay so that being said the instructions of the team is like this so your right back right is on stay back while attacking overlap okay your left back is going to be on overlap so it's the card that could potentially attack in this case it would have definitely been better to use hakimi as the attacking oriented card over the acuna but you would just switch the instruction of your team to be opposite and you guys you guys are going to see what i'm talking about real soon okay so the opposite part of the team is the midfield and the attack but in my opinion, just to not complicate too many things, just line it up the way that it is over here, okay? So, listen up. In this tactic, right? So, if that, I was wondering why Fofana was attacking so much for me, but now it makes sense. Uh, but in this tactic, you guys are going to see that for the center mid playing in the middle, as well as the left one, they are both on stay back while attacking cover center, okay? So, you want to try to have players... You know, let's say your left center mid is like a high, high work rate of card, can push forward, come back, and then you have like a really good medium high in the middle, which let's be honest, it doesn't even have to be a medium high. It could be a high high as well. It could be a medium medium. Uh, I seen the pro player using Graven Birch there, which would be perfectly fine because obviously the taller players definitely make a very nice difference, right? But those two are going to be on stay back while attacking cover center. Your right center mid, in my case, I'm using DePaul, right? The thing about DePaul is that he's a person that can attack and defend. But if you guys are making this formation in game, you can 100% put an actual attacker there, right? And I think they were using like Janola or something. Janola is always the card uh, that the comp players are using. It's always the blue one too that I see, right? Well, I think the blue one's the only one that exists, but the blue one is the card that people use all the time. So in that right center mid position, it's to use an attacker, right? So even if it's Payet, Correa, Lionel Messi, it's an attacker in that position. But the great thing about this formation is that you can genuinely use an attacking and defensive oriented card there like DePaul and it'd be great. The reason why it's really nice to be able to use an actual attacker there is because there could be a situation in the game where you may want to switch to like a 4-2-3-1 and you can't because you don't have the fourth attacker right so that's why it's helpful to have but it's not just helpful to have for the rotation policy it's helpful to have because in this formation for the get into the box or the cross this guy is your attacker but he'll sometimes defend for you so it's really helpful right now your forwards you're gonna see how they're lined up because of the certain instructions that you actually have for this team so the whole point of it is to essentially line up in a 4-4-2 to defend so that you're not super vulnerable when you're actually playing this game and it's also to attack properly as well. So if you're being super attacking oriented, honestly, for your left forward, you don't have to have comeback in the fence. Like you can just keep him on a stay central and then you take off comeback in the fence if you really need that extra attack. But generally speaking, for the way that this formation starts off, 
comeback and defense is ideal because again, what happens is that when you have your other attacking oriented player in that right center mid position, they actually cover wing. So it lines up in kind of like a 4-4-2 because of the way that your other forwards are lined up in a stay central role, right? So you're gonna see that Messi come back in defense. He'll kind of go into that left-sided area as well as, you know, attack through the middle because of the fact that he's an actual left forward. But your striker is also gonna be on stay central, but your right forward is also gonna be on stay central getting behind. So like I said, if you wanna have a more attacking oriented version of this formation if you really need to you would just replace the one instruction on this Lionel Messi to just attack a little bit more but generally you should start it off like this and keep it like this for pretty much the whole game uh just for a better balance in your team right so again the whole point of this formation is to attack in a 4-3-2-1 right with an extra attacker and someone like DePaul that pushes forward, right? But it's also to be able to defend with width as well as a narrow, right? So it's important to be able to kind of rotate between the two because wide play is very important, but so is the middle play, right? So the types of players that you're gonna wanna have in this team. So obviously, if you're being serious in FIFA, you wanna go as full meta as possible. I've seen a lot of people using the World Cup Perisic card as one of their center mids, which obviously would work out fantastically well. You could see that from the pro player here, He's using the new Alexander Arnold on the right side, Nuno Menz on the left side, Perisic, Gravenberch, and Janola as the midfielders, which would obviously be perfectly fine. The Rat, Alo Oweron, Mbappe, Jerzingo, right? So all of that is fantastic meta options to work with, right? So you could totally do that, but you can also work with the cheaper players. Now, in the defense, again, you wanna to try to go as full meta as possible. Uh, obviously, in my case, I just have a bunch of first owner cards that are just chilling in my club, so I just use with whatever I have uh, while working with Verratti, because I'm doing his review as well, which I'm probably gonna post before this video. Um, but yeah, so you could see that, you know, the defense is gonna be as meta as possible. So I have a player like Acuna, Thiago Di Jailo, who's, Pretty decent, to be honest. He's not bad whatsoever. Eric Bailly's SPC was great. Hakimi's card, um, so on and so forth. In his case, he's using like the more full meta center backs like Van Dijk, Lucio, uh, Rafael Varane, um, like those types of guys, right, for, for consistency in the squad. Um, so in the midfield, I always tell you guys this, right, that for me personally, I feel like height is a very important thing to work with when it comes to your midfield setup. I think it's very, very important for the interceptions, for the way that you attack, for the way that you defend. The AI does a lot of the work in this formation. Like sometimes you're gonna notice them just cutting passing lanes in general. And it's always nicer to have the taller players to be able to do that. Is it possible to use the shorter players? Yes, you guys are gonna see from the highlights of us using the shorter players that it's still possible, but it's just better with the taller players. You're gonna see here that with the types of players that I have, I actually have Verratti, who is the five-star weak foot player playing in that left center mid role on the stay back while attacking. Because guess what? The card is still gonna attack from time to time. He's still gonna create space for me because he has 92 attacking positioning, right? So the way that you use each individual card matters for the general experience, right? Uh, again, with DePaul, you want to put an actual attacker there, but if you want to do what I'm doing here, you could totally do that. You just don't have a rotation policy if you want to switch to like a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1. And again, it is better to have an actual attacker there. That's why they're using Janola. Janola would be perfect in that situation. Um, I always prefer to have strong foot on the strong side, just like the homie G over here, right? He's using Alouéron on the left side, Jerzing on the right, and then Mbappe is obviously a full meta card. You guys know how that goes. But me, I have my baby girl... Correa just absolutely doing the work for me up top. And you guys are going to see, he's just, it's not over hype. He's, he's, he's my favorite player in ultimate team for a reason. He's an absolute monster. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's how the tactic lines up. That's the types of players you want. The attack up top, you don't have to be like as linear. You can use different types of attackers. Like I was using Messi. Payet's SPC was a huge W. He was a great card in game. I love that I can give him an engine. I don't really care about his finishing being the way that it is. It's fantastic. And then obviously Correa attacking AI merchant while being an explosive beast is great to work with too. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some highlights of how the team actually ended up performing in game. Hopefully you guys enjoy this tactic video. Again, be sure to show love to the initial, original, initial, original video uh, because these are not mine. You know, I always tell you guys that we're doing reviews for people's tactics if it ends up being very good. So be sure to check out the original video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Okay, so this will be the first time I'm playing regular FIFA while trying out the 4 3 2 1.
plays alongside Eric Bailly in central defence. Dimitri Payet plays with Angel Correa. Oh, one. Derek, can he finish it here? All right. Already starting off real hot. Let's go. Nice. Correa. Now Messi. And here he is, Lionel Messi. Let's go, Messi. Good job. Is the keeper. Marcos Acuna plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Rodrigo De Paul oh, starts. Can he finish it here, Derek? Dude. The passing options in this formation for the attack is crazy. Let's go. On two rage quits so far. Joao Cancelo. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Nice goal. Let's go, boys. Guys, the attack is absolutely phenomenal. I have to get used to the defense, but the attacking is disgusting. Nice, get the ball back and stuff. Here's Marcos Acuna. Correa might jump in front. The goal, let's go. Just ten minutes to go. Messi, this could finish it. Yeah, it always has like the extra attacking options, which is crazy. Trippier. Nice. Can he find the right pass? No, dude. Oh, that deserves a goal. What a play, man. Initially, what a play. You know what I'm saying? Initially. Oh, I thought he was going to miss. I was going to cry. See, I, I like him in that role there for the left center mid area on stay back. Like, he'll still attack sometimes, but, like, you can work with his dribbling a little bit more, the weak foot, you know? So, one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Messi. Oh, he's through here. Look at that. You see? In that left center mid roll. Messi. Can he find the angle? The goal. What was that Eric Bai? Okay. To pressure to regain possession. It's a very bright looking attack continued by Payet. Will he find the net? Dude, this SBC Payet, man. What a card, eh? What a card they gave us with this guy. Correa. This might be ideal for the counter. They need to get bodies back. Oh, yeah, he just makes the run right away. A little cheeky chip. We're good to go. Oh my goodness, I thought I missed. I'm like, there's no chance. Look at that pass. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. Weighted ball, they might be in. De Paul. Payet. Oh, dude. The the passing play so the defending you definitely have to get used to for sure. I'm not gonna say that you don't. Uh because it's like I wish the game wasn't so parked the bus oriented because it's very manual for sure. It's just that the attack is phenomenal. I have, to def I have to have a different defensive style, I think. I have to, like, YouTube it. Because it's definitely, like, that second man... Not second man press, but that's the, the double tap R1 is very effective for that, I think. Rodrigo de Paul. Read it superbly to take back possession. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this... Look at, the, look at the attacking options. And that DePaul that I'm using is supposed to be an actual attacker. Like, I've seen the pro players use, like, Ginola and stuff. So, imagine. 
DePaul, like, you know, he's, he's good at attacking and defending, so you could totally do it if you want to. Oh, I love that, Verratti. Let's go. And support available. Messi. Oh, managing to beat him. Real chance. Good goal. The extra pass meta. <laughs> Beauty! Let's go, boys! Let's go!